Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to draw a person swinging a bat. And we have explored this action in other videos as well. So please do feel free to check them out as well. But we are here utilizing one different angle and an important angle in this particular action. So when the person is swinging the bat, necessarily the body is not hunched like this. It's mostly like hunched outward because all the force is being expanded like in that certain direction. So well, there will be some force shortening here as well. So we will place the shoulders like that. The collar is right there. And the head most likely will remain in this position. We will have one arm. So this arm is being placed outward like that. That's where the foreshortening is. So this arm is usually smaller than this, usually, but this, in this case, this is smaller than this. So the hand, again, quite large in proportion to this again. So hand is usually like that small if we were to do it in proportion to even the forearm, but right here it's kind of like that. And then the body, because the person is concentrating, that's why the head is, we have to place the head at that angle, like that, so that we show that he's trying to, you know, nail the shot. And that's how the placement and the angle of the head is. So eyes, nose, mouth, and the other arm, the, the other important thing in this entire uh, uh, exercise is really short forearm from there to there and then let's do a curled structure here for the other forearm I mean nice and big and then the hand like this joining this hand here so but, but now the angles can vary they, they, they can vary but this is a popular angle that we could know about and really use there's the chest area the ab area body going backward a little bit and that's the lower body and we have some we have a few things that you could do with this so essential curvature like that in the frame the object itself which is the bat you're going to place like that going right through the hands and we could foreshorten that and bring it let's bring it outward a little more to make it more dynamic and show it nice and big here Now we'll just grab a pen and go over the framework again. So there's the, let's say the triceps, just putting some detail in there. And then the, uh, the idea is to have the thumb curving around the bat. And of course the rest of the fingers are under the bat and not necessarily visible in this particular angle anyways. And then right here, nudged right against that is the other hand. And portion of the fingers will show just like that. There's the knuckle set right there. And then that goes back. And into the middle arm there. And that goes into the delt again. There's the uh, chest collar structure. And of course the upper body. And we'll end the upper body here. That was placed a little too low. Now, what we can do with this is we 
right here, we could either, the, the, the natural thing to do is either like show that. So leg going forward, let's say the person is like wearing slacks and this is actually baseball really. And if you Google images, you'll find several images that will be around this line and work off any of the different people that are featured in that pose. So that's one. We are placing the legs there, but the head should essentially be in that way to make this like really more effective, even more dramatic. Then we can also uh, do this. So this leg going forward. And the other leg going backward. That placement is also quite natural. And then of course, let's uh, just make the bat a little more solid. Nice and big. And the bottom does not necessarily have to show. The person could possibly have gloves. That is a very oft used angle. So please do try it out. Lots of fun. You could have other objects in, in the hand here, really, and let's Actually, why not we put that out there as well? We could have pretty much look that this shows through. You could just have a sword right there. So nice big foreshortened sword coming right like that. Or we could have a stick or a hammer. We have a hammer that might um, look somewhat like that. So like a sledgehammer with the head, of course, at the 2D angle like that. So different things that we can do with this, but essentially a baseball action. Just do baseball players and you will baseball bat swing and we can see several options there. So let's like make this a little less confusing and we will just nail the primary foreshortened sketch that we did so that we can just make it a little more bearable to look at. That was our initial sketch. Going into this, of a person swinging a bat or an object, sword, hammer, whatever. So please do try it out. It's a lot of fun and always looks dynamic. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, keep in touch, have yourself a wonderful day.